So we are in the hallway of uh, Whitwick Manor. And Peter, what can we say about this this hallway now? Well, it seemed logical to start in the entrance hall. It's where the public come into the house. And it obviously was built as the grand entrance to the property. Although the contents have changed somewhat over the years, it is a functional space. And the really strange item, which is still, which is now in the uh, porch, but used to be in the uh, alcove to the main entrance hall, is a set of cowbells. These were a very strange 21st birthday present to Geoffrey Mander, allegedly from his parents. Uh, it causes a deal of amusement to people uh, yeah. when they see them. But I say we. Uh, it's a functional space and it's obviously the best then to move through into the hall itself. And just before you go, were they actually just used for decoration or do they actually... As far as we know, they were only ever used as decoration. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's something which uh, Geoffrey uh, obviously just let carry on leaving in the house. Yeah. Okay, let's carry on. The public reaction when you come into the entrance hall is that it's quite gloomy. But that was, uh, according to Lady Manda, part of the architect's original intention. That you had contrast of the lightness of the porch, the anticipation of going on into the lightness of the drawing room, but you had the gloom of the entrance hall in the middle. And as you look down the entrance hall, you see at the far end... Uh, the windows and light again and of course the idea is that you go from the dark leading towards the light. The hall contains quite a generous alcove which has got some of Lady Manda's beloved Kemp glass in it. The panels represent six of the virtues that are supposed to be possessed by the owners of the house. Uh, the idea is that there were nine virtue window designs by Kemp and six were chosen by the Manders. They seem to be on the whole feminine virtues and one or two obvious windows, for example like Justice, uh, have been omitted and that would be something that you would normally have expected Theodore as a JP to have included if the choice had been reflecting his virtues so, as I say, it does seem to be, uh, Lady Manda, uh, the, uh, the idea of Flora Manda's virtues, not uh, the, the masculine side of the house. But this, port, this uh, alcove was, uh, when the house was first opened to the public, and indeed for many, many years, certainly through the 1960s, where tickets were sold to the public. And the uh, table was in the centre of the area. Uh, the great security was a draw for the cash to be put in and tickets were themselves a novelty. There's an intriguing letter in the archives uh, where Sir Geoffrey writes to somebody at the head office saying he'd been to another National Trust house and they had these tear-off tickets. Is it something that could be introduced to Whittick? And lo and behold, a few weeks later, a reel of tickets did appear. Uh, it seems very strange to us today with computerised admission systems that something as simple as a tear-off ticket was quite a revolution.